Hey everybody, Kevin here. Today we're at the Yacht Club at Walt Disney World Resort. Um, our main goal here today is swim in the sand bottom pool that they have here. Um, but while the rest of the family is getting ready and the friends who are letting us swim with them are getting ready, we're going to do a resort tour. A little quick walk around and show you what's what, where's everything where. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, Thank you for coming back and uh, come along. This should be a really, this should be a really good time. Here we are walking into the front door. Some fancy couches here. So when you get in, you see this massive globe. Does it spin? Oh, it spins. Oh, that's probably dangerous. Kid can probably get that thing spinning at a pretty, at a pretty awesome speed. A new, accurate globe of the world. Look at the date of that. 1651. So they have this old school letter drop box right there next to the registration. So if you got any important documents you have to mail, there is your spot. How freaking cool is that? Over here also in the entrance area they have a nice little like model sailboat here. I guess that's theming with the whole yacht club. We got yacht knot. Little mini sailboat. I mean I don't think I would fit into it, but somebody might. So if you come in over there, you walk up these, uh, these stairs, come up to a big sh ship wheel. Does it turn? Oh, it turns. Like my childhood self is just coming out. You come up here, it's pretty quiet up here. Look at that eagle. Pretty quiet up here, I don't know. It was supposed to be up here or not. It's a whole bunch of privates on the door. A whole bunch of plate collections. I'm speaking softly because I'm not sure if I'm 100% supposed to be up here or not. Just a random desk. Thank you guys for coming to this meeting. There's nobody there. But you feel so official when up. Nobody there. Just me. All of me. By the big desk. They have a... Just a bunch of just... Theming. Theming out the wazoo. You get thirsty while you're waiting to register. Have some ice cold lemon water here. So we came in from over there. You take a right as you walk in. You come down, you got this awesomely themed carpet. I am easily impressed, as you can tell. Look up and we're going to see the market. Looks like it appears to be their, their gift shop. The market at Ale and Compass. Let's see what they have in here. Centerpiece appears to be a lot of... I don't know what kind of clothes or color scheme you would call them. But they have a cup that says, Love for $15.99. Mini yacht. Ooh. And an old school lighthouse. Back to the merchandise. A lot of mini stuff. If mugs are your thing, we have a Disney Yacht Club Resort mug. Kind of hefty. For only $15.99. Small glasses are your thing. They have a little shooter yacht club glass for $9.95. Coming to the left side of the market, they have a variety of different things you can buy, such as 
rice chips, like those are a thing. With the mixed mouth shaped uh, goldfish style crackers. Itali Italian wedding cookies. Delicious. For a bunch of pastries. Cereal. Looks like a quick like grab and go breakfast area with some fruit. The uh, breakfast offerings. Not terribly priced. You know, a lot, lot worse, so there's a lunch dinner offer as well. So as you're looking at the main entrance over there, you swing around, we have the Ale and Compass Lounge. This place here, super fancy, I'm gonna talk really low. Let me show you the menu. A whole bunch of beer menus. More beer. You're a wine person. Future spirits, boy, this can get pricey quick. Non alcoholic, one hand. I hear that they got some original cocktails over here. How dare you! Royal Manhattan. Captain Mai's tie, dark and stormy. Fireplace here. A bunch of sunken treasure that we have recovered. A bunch of barnacles all over it. Work your way here off to the side around that fireplace. You have another little private lounge area. Full service bar it appears like. Very fancy. Very fancy indeed. Look, this is what the theme it is like. Like a bunch of barnacles and what have you on these little like recovered from the bottom of the ocean. If you look, they have on the wall kind of like a porthole style mirror. How freaking cool is this? We have the Alien Compass Lounge that we just came out of. Welcome to the convention center. Little miscellaneous flags. More theming than you know what to do with. Isn't that the fanciest looking Chase ATM you have ever seen? Good job, Disney. Good job. So yeah, we're gonna come out and the we're gonna come out these doors and the convention center has that way, but we're not gonna go that way. We're not gonna go to the convention center because they're having a pretty big one right now and I'm definitely not gonna rest the park. Don't worry, convention center is nice. We may stop by, but probably not because we don't wanna stick out over there. We really don't. All right, so you come in over there and you come off to the left and you have your Ale and Compass restaurant. Which appears to be filling up and I don't think they're gonna let me in but it's like a buffet style you continue walking around you come up to the cruise cup lounge look we got some people dressing dapper cruise cup lounge to the yachtman steakhouse which is closed and they continue on over there. now we just came out the back doors of the lobby and look at this view guys Da da da! Look how cool this view is. Let me tell you, it is hot today. So hot. If we come out the back entrance, you see a lighthouse, and that's going to be your boat trans, your boat transportation to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So definitely directly behind the back door you go out to the lighthouse you have trans you have the boat transportation the two parks All right, so We came out over there We're gonna swing around To the Bayside Marina and See how much the boat rentals cost so So the sea racer $32 per 30 minutes that's about what we paid and I will link that video here 
you know, you can definitely scale up in size of the boat, but definitely have the money, you can definitely have a good time. So while looking at this map, I'm not seeing the running trail, and I realize that the running trail is actually, you run completely all the way around to the boardwalk, the beach club, all the way back around. That is exhausting. So we're coming around from the main back entrance. Here's our little beach. So bright here. We're on the back side of the pool over over here. Yeah, here's the here's our little beach. So still in the same uh, beach area. They have a, it's closed right now, but Pearl Factory, Hawaii's original Pearl in the Oyster. So it seems like the uh, little Japanese place where you can get the pearl. Seems like they might have a little mini one here. So that's exciting. So from the Pearl Factory, they have this big ship, which appears to be the kiddie pool area. Um, not gonna be able to show you what's in there because I'm not staying here. But we swing around and, yep, I was right. The New Balance Running Trail. We run all the way around. 0.8 miles. I don't think uh, New Balance shoes are required, but they definitely sponsored the running trail. Over here on the front side of the pool, they have ship shape. Massage Salon Fitness. That's the salon part. This is the fitness center. It's a magic band reader, so probably won't be able to get in there, but yeah, it's called Ship Shape. It's the pool area here in from, from, from the inside. Big windmill, lazy river, little kid area. All the tire pool has sand at the bottom. Bunch of lounge chairs and all that kind of good stuff. Another for us here at the Yacht Club. Um, we didn't get a chance to swim in the pool today, um, unfortunately, because uh, I guess Disney just does not allow guests to swim when you're there with friends, so that's all That's all good. Not not to worry, we have a big day planned at Epcot, and then we're going to the Disney Character Warehouse, but those will be separate vlogs, which I'll link here. If I don't, which I probably will forget, go to the channel. Because uh, I most likely will forget, but it was fun. Um, you know, saying I'm wearing different clothes, because the clothes I was wearing, I was anticipating swimming. Now that I'm not swimming, um, I don't need to wear those uh, dress down clothes, so... We are off to Epcot. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. This helps us continue keep doing what we're doing. Keep going out and do these awesome things and show you guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining. We'll see you in the next video.